सदाशिवसमारम हम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा वस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरु परंपरा सुखी स्मृति पुराणालीं किरणालीं नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव पादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मी मूर्ति भेद विभागि योगवद्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सहनावृत सहनौन सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वी ओं शांति प्रकाश मुक्षुर वै शरण हम प्रपत्ति ओं शांति 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 आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिरुपास्महे आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिरुपास्मे लास्ट पाठ वीर लुकिंग एट दी अपक्षोदरादि अपक्षोदरादि कर्ण आई थिंक हियर आई डेंट डू दी पदच्छेद This is not shugasya, shugasya. So, I was focusing on the content and uh, didn't do justice to the padachcheda proper. So I said shugas, shugasya. Uh, and here this uh, tada adravanat and tada adravanat both are okay. So somewhere in the uh, bhashya you see tada uh, the dravanat has been used in the derivation of. Uh, शूद्र सो शुषा दुद्रावेति बट इन संपद छेदासो विच अकस्वर्ण दीर्घ देर कैन बी आ उपसर्ग ऑल्सो विच इज ऑल्सो फाइन इट जस्ट गिव यू नो आ समता दुर्दा ही अप्रोच सो आ इज ऑल्सो यू नो आगछति सो गछति और आगछति इन दिस डेरिवेशन एटलीस्ट इट हैव सिमिलर मीनिंग सो ही इधर यू कैन से ही वेंट टू Uh, जान श्रुति वेंट टू रेक्वा और अप्रोच रेक्वा और केम टू रेक्वा इधर वे यू कैन गेट अ सिमिलर मीनिंग व्हाट वी वांट टू शो इज अ यौगिक व्युत्पत्ति ऑफ शूद्र शब्द ओके एंड भगवान भाष्यकार एज ए सेट ही यूजेस थ्री डेरिवेशंस हैविंग सिमिलर मीनिंग सो वेदर यू नो सुचम अभिदुद्राव और सुचा अभिदुद्रवे और सुचा रईकोम अभिदुद्राव सो दीज आर दी थ्री डेरिवेशन सी ऑफर्स विथ सिमिलर मीनिंग सो वेदर द किंग एटेंड शो का मीनिंग दी दिस जान श्रुति हु इज सीन एज अ किंग और मे बी ही वॉज अ किंग और ही ही वॉज रीच बाई ग्रीफ एंड दर्ड इज दट द किंग अप्रोच रईको ड्यू टू ग्रीफ सो हेतु दट तृतीय इज सीन एज हेतु said yesterday i'll not talk about it but then it is good to know uh, how this uh, you know upapada tatpurusha kind of derivation is possible there so it is shudra that is the derivation there and then uh, we saw that since jana shruti wandered around with chaitratha who is a kshatriya and uh, samana jati nam eva hi prayana sahacharo bhavati therefore जान श्रुति इज ऑल्सो क्षत्रिय नॉट शूद्र नॉट वर्ण शूद्र देन संस्कार परामर्शा तदभाविलापाच वी सॉ दट देर इज अ डिस्कशन ऑफ संस्कार इन शास्त्र एंड दो संस्कार आर नॉट देर आर नॉट मेन्शन फॉर अ शूद्र देर फोर शूद्र हेज नो अधिकार इन ब्रह्म विद्या then kinch the next uh, sutra says kinch moreover in continuation tad abhava nirdharane cha pravrutte he tad abhava nirdharane cha pravrutte he is the sutra tad tad abhava nirdharane is one word cha pravrutte so there is no padachheda to be done there tad abhava is uh, the story of jabala so jabala is mentioned there we know the story Jabala as a kid wanted to study Vedas. 
and when he approached the guru the guru asked him the gautama uh, he approached gautama rishi and gautama asked him which gotra are you so he says that i uh, i don't know so he went and asked his mother and his mother told him that she does not know the gotra he went back and he just gave the answer as it is he didn't lie about it and this is a satva guna not lying is dharma which is inherent in a brahmana of that era at least so because of varna sankara and uh, all the other kinds of sankaras there is loss of dharma even in brahmana but gautam rishi saw this brahmana guna there and that is the sutra here taking jabala as the udharana there so if the puro pakshi will to say look at jabala he was taught there was no gotra known so how do you say that he is a brahmana so this sutra kar answers tadabhav nirdharane cha pravrutte he the <coughs> pravrutte is panchami because of pravrutti what is the pravrutti vidya upadesha pravrutti gautama gautam rishi taught jabala there was pravrutti of gautam rishi to teach jabala only when nirdharana was on nirdharane sati eva kasya nirdharanam what did he ascertain only after ascertaining the varna of the kid jabala gautama taught vedas so vidya upadesha pravrutti was there only after nirdharana of what tadabhava vadabhava shudratva bhava tad is shudra shudratvam so tadabhava shudratva bhava in whom in jabala so jabale shudratva abhava tadabhava is jabale tadabhava nirdharane shudratva abhava abhava nirdharane cha gautamasya pravrutti pravrutehe tasmat pravrutehe so that is the sutra artha the vritti is very simple tasya tad is expanded as tasya अभाव निर्धारणे तस्य जाबालस्य जाबालस्य शूद्रत्व अभाव निर्धारण हाउ डिड इट टेक प्लेस सत्यवचनेन जाबालस्य सत्यवचनेन शूद्रत्व अभाव निर्धारणे सति एव गौतमस्य विद्या उपदेशे प्रवृत्ति दर्शनात् सो द प्रवृत्ति ऑफ टीचिंग बाय गौतम सो बाय गौतम इज सीन ओनली आफ्टर एसर्टेनिंग द वर्ण वेदर ही इज त्रैवर्णिक एंड हियर He has written that the this quality is of a Brahmana Satya Vachana. Therefore, I will give you Upanena Samskara and Vidya. Says Gautam Rishi to Jabala. Ataha na Shudra se adhikara ityartha. Thereby, also looking at other sections of the Upanishad, also you see that there is no adhikara for Shudra in Brahma Vidya. Brahma meaning Veda also, and we'll see it means uh, para Brahma also, and Brahma also has a meaning of Brahmana. But here both meanings of Veda as well as para Brahma are applicable here. But still, as I said yesterday, Shudra can get moksha. So that will be close in the uh, in the end. As Bhagwan Bhaskara does, similarly as the Vritti Kara, Vritti mentions that it is possible to get Vidya through other means, get Moksha through other means, meaning through Purana Dityadi. Apicha and further what? Shravana Dhyanartha Pratishedha Smritesha. Shravana Dhyanartha Pratishedha Smritesha. <coughs> श्रवणाध्यानाथ प्रतिषेधा स्मृते हे च सो हियर श्रवण अध्ययन अर्थ प्रतिषेधा श्रवण एंड अध्ययन टू लिसन टू वेदास फ्रॉम अ गुरु गुरुमुख अध्ययन टू स्टडी एंड देन स्टडी ऑफ दी अर्थ आल्सो देयर इज अ प्रतिषेधा सो शूद्र शुड नॉट सो देयर इज अ निषेध वाक्य आल्सो icha and seva is possible but the third requirement for being an adhikari 
is there should be no nisheda but there is a nisheda shravana nisheda is there adhyayana nisheda is there and artha to understand the artha after shravana and adhyayana since shravana and adhyayana itself is not possible artha cannot be inquired into but still it is mentioned in the sutra there is a pratisheda nisheda is there and it is there in smriti also due to such smriti also smriti h so there is a shruti pratisheda and then smriti is also there if at all you think that we have not interpreted it right then look up the smriti where there is an analysis of all shruti vakyas and a conclusion is given in smriti also <coughs> so here smriti h athasya वेदम उपश्रुणवत त्रपुजतुभ्या श्रोत्र प्रतिपूरण देर इज अस्ट देर इज अ वेरी हार्श पनिशमेंट गिवेन देर एज टू इफ एट ऑल अशूद्र नो डिस्कार्डिंग दि वेदा और दि दि सेटअप ऑफ कर्म सो दि कर्म and karma phala sambandha is such that the janma is due to karma the purva karma which is right for fructification punya and papa together will lead to some kind of janma when it is approximately 50 50 then one gets a manushya janma in that if the punya is more close to 50 50 but it is more then one gets the dvija janma in the earlier three varnas and the last varna is when the papa is moved as we saw yesterday there is no pataka in a shudra because pataka means there is a fall of from papa so there is no further fall because the janma itself is a papa papa janma therefore there is a discount given now not taking that discount and focusing on varna dharma if one does not if the shudra born as a shudra person does not take the benefit offered whereby he does not need to get samskaras and shruti says that you don't have adhikara in vedas but still you can get moksha till he forces discarding the shruti saying that i will learn vedas then the shruti is quite harsh in punishment so i'll not translate this but then you, you must have heard this his uh, ear should be filled uh, filled with whatever metal and all that is there in this so it's a no, there is no uh, there is no example such example available we don't see in history that such examples are given but this is the statement of the smriti it has not been implemented uh, so there is a uh, some uh, shastri sam pandita was asked this question you know this kind of a oppressive society this kind of an oppressive society has been there in history of sanatan dharma whereas the pandita said they show the example they, these are there only to scare away the people from going away from the shastra to follow the shastra there is there are harsh punishments mentioned but none of these are really followed in history they have not been shown in history meaning the shudras had a difficult life due to the janma and they followed whatever the shastra said by pravrutti itself because their pravrutti is is to meet their livelihood so it is not that Uh, they have discarded shastras and it is not that they have discarded their dharma also varna dharma why because they have a difficult life and they their entire struggle is to make make a square meal at the end of the day so wanting to study vedas itself is not there in their mind See even uh, Vedanta uh, Satsangi uh, uncle used to say, he says all these the new era interest towards Vedanta. What is it due to? 
you are living a comfortable life everything is taken care of and then because there is a spare time how do you utilize it now in the puro samskara of course leads to vedanta but then all this is only when your basic uh, you know basic life is set there are very few who are struggling to make ends meet and they have interest in shastras in the modern era i am i am not talking about uh, i am talking about the masses i am not talking about those uh, real adhikaris i am talking about generally there is a mass interest in in uh, upanishads at least vedanta and that mass interest without adhikaritvam is because everything else is fine in their life everything is set up they don't have to struggle it's quite a luxurious or a comfortable life and then there is an interest in vedanta because let's see this also so this is you know um, if you compare this with a shudra's life who is struggling in that era his life is not comfortable he will think about uh, the who am i kind of a question only when everything else is fine and there is even bandwidth to think the antakarana does not have bandwidth to think the about who am i question when you are struggling to you know fill the stomach so this is an aside to get a perspective of what um, what the uh, shastra says and whether it is really an oppressive society so the reason i am defensive is because there has been a lot of attack based on uh, these uh, smriti vakyas so anyway we should know as uh, this has not been uh, the case as in uh, nobody has been uh, you know dealt with in this manner such a harsh manner at least as far as we know in history so tasma shudra samipe na adhyetavyam so therefore because see these punishments are very harsh literally literally if you look at it they are harsh but they can be arthavada vakyas also to scare away a person from so you know you, uh, like parents tell the children you know in um, uh, culturally in at least in uh, our place if the kid starts kicking the elder or someone you know they start kicking when they are angry they kick so you know the parent tells the child don't kick otherwise you, you'll get uh, you know get worms in your legs so whether the person will really the kid will really get worms is not the question but it is to scare away the kid from doing papa karma it is a papa to kick the elders it to kick itself is um, a papa karma i just recall puja swami ji as a joke he used to say he used to, he used to uh, uh, not a joke but jovially he used to say that a donkey is going to kick it is your fault if you are kicked by the donkey it is not the donkey's fault why because the donkey is supposed to kick that is its protection mechanism it is by nature if you approach a donkey the donkey is going to kick it won't get papa but looking at the donkey if a human being starts kicking others then the human being will get papa so the kid is said not to do this otherwise such a punishment is given by the shastra that there will be worms in the legs now listening to this the kid would hopefully be scared away as long as the buddhi is functional he say he'll say no oh, no no i don't want worms in my legs so he try not to kick similarly here the punishment is so harsh that listening to this punishment tasma shudra samipe na adhyetavyam even a brahmana will think twice you no know, why should the why should the shudra be punished in such a harsh manner so might as well keep him away from ved adhyayana so while chanting he will not chant near shudra so this is the Uh, culture there as per the shastras na shudra ay matim dadhyat and going out of the way you should not start teaching shudra what the veda says shastra all these you know upanishad ityadi dvijatinam adhyayanam ijjadanam 
and then dana also as we have seen that shudra does not have pataka so dana adhikara is also not there because what is he going to get doing dana he himself is struggling so you should not take away money from him so dana also he has no adhikara hai. it is there only for dvijas dvijas should do dana dvijas can do dana to dvijas they can do to advija also they can give it to shudra also ityadi smritih veda shravanasya tad adhyanasya tad arthayoh meaning shravana what has shravana has been done and adhyana has been done artha of shravita vakyas and artha of whatever adhyana has been done those vakyas tad arthayoh tat prayojanayoh tad artha means artha is prayojana what is the prayojana once you look at the meaning you understand the prayojana of the vakya what is the tatparya so tad arthayoh meaning shravana adhyana arthayoh meaning shravana adhyana prayojanayoh artha jnana anushthanayoh cha so artha once you have artha artha jnana then based on the artha jnana that is not sufficient in vedas in karma kanda when you have artha jnana padartha jnana or vakya jnana when the shabda bodha takes place what is the vakya trying to say what is the tatparya vishaya then there is a karma associated with it whether it is vachika kaika manasika so anushthana has to be done so artha jnana anushthanayoh cha pratishedat for shudra shudrasya pratisheda there is a pratisheda for shudra in shravana adhyena ಶ್ರವಣ ಅರ್ಥ ಅರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಅರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನ ನಿಷೇಧ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶ್ರವಣ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನಿಷೇಧ ಅಥ ಕಥಂಚಿದ ಶೂದ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವಿದ್ಯಾ ವಿಧಿಪೂರ್ವಕ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇದ್ ಸಿದ್ಧ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಧಿಪೂರ್ವಕ ಅಧಿಕಾರ there is no adhikara with vidhi meaning with samskaras with adhyayana of veda shastras with shravana manana nidhyasana that adhikara is not there vedanta shravana manana nidhyasana is with samskara upanayana adi samskara veda vedanta shravana and with uh, karma and upasana anushthana in that manner there is no adhikara so that is why vidhi purvaka is a visheshana to adhikaritvam the adhikaritvam is not prapta as per vidhi so vidhi purva means with a vidhi it is not prapta but without the vidhi there is adhikara in mukti because in purana itihasa the same tatparya of the vedantas is discussed in that he has adhikara and that adhikara is not vidhi purvaka because he does not need any samskara for that he can just finish his work of the day and if he gets spare time he can go and listen to some pravachana itihasa purana pravachana and get jnana which is what brahma vidya same brahma vidya is also discussed in the itihasa puranas by which in a simpler manner an easier way shudra can get mukti and there are examples of purva samskara working also if at all uh, there was a uh, if at all the shudra had a dvija janma earlier and due to papa he has got the shudra janma after the prarabdha of the shudratva which will take away earlier papa that goes away then the earlier samskaras when he was a dvija and studied in earlier janmas that will start acting because he was a kalyana krut there was some obstacle in that jnana to take place because of lot of papa and that went away by a shudra janma but he can become a vidura there vidura was is, is shudra but still he is considered as a as having quite a good jnana in dharma also not only in as brahma vidya but he had veda vidya brahma vidya also because the earlier earlier samskaras purva samskaras were working 
when the papa has reduced and has gone away rather what papa the papa which caused shudra janma to place an obstacle to shravana but shravana had already taken place in earlier janmas and for its fructification whatever obstacles were there they went away by the shudra janma suffering and thereby vidhi purvak adhikara may not be there but there is adhikara in brahma vidya otherwise there is no reason to say vidhi purvak adhikara you could you could have just said brahma vidya adhikaraha nasti but what has been said brahma vidya vidhi purvak adhikara nasti so it should be uh, remembered in this manner because the purva pakshi is also in uh, is raising a question in such a manner he says that let there be adhikara in brahma vidya where veda vidya also brahma means veda also but here vidhi purvaka adhikara is not there but through other means which are appropriate for the varna adhikara is there so atha kathanchit api na shudrasya brahma vidyam vidhi purvaka adhikara kathanchit here is not refuting in any manner but it is saying that in any manner in the vidhi there is no adhikara in sanskara ityadi shravana mana nidhyarsana there is no adhikara now the apashudra adhikarana is over the next adhikarana is kampana adhikarana which is actually in continuation with the earlier to this adhikarana apashudra adhikarana where apashudra adhikarana where there was a prasangika sangati and with udharana the purva pakshi asked an itch question it is actually you know he cannot sit silent so he has to raise a doubt just you know try to uh, cause a cause trouble in the flow so it was that kind of a detour therefore the vrittikara gives an explanation as to how this earlier apashudra adhikarana does not have any sangati to kampana adhi uh, kampana adhikarana samapta prasangiko adhikara vichara ha this adhikara vichara was in prasanga it has come up. so it is prasangika it has nothing to do with the flow of brahma sutras aduna prakruta vakyartha vicharam pravartayishyamaha whatever is contextually going on in brahma sutra that flow will continue now so we'll continue that pravartayishyamaha which is prakruta vakyartha vichara the vedanta vakya vichara will continue what is that that is basically the um, tatparya of all upanishad vakyas including the upasanas and jnana kanda proper have their tatpare vishaya is what the tatpare vishaya is brahma that is the prakruta vakya artha vichara so we'll continue that says the vrittikara prasangikatvat na avyavahitena asya sangatya peksha because this this uh, apashudra adikarana has come up in in the context but in the context of mention of samadhikara somewhere devata adikara which itself is contextual that devata adikara is also contextual and based on that there is an out of context discussion because devata uh, adikara question came up because the Uh, there was a discussion of upasanas with devatas who are upasya so therefore it fits the context but this uh, shudra having an adhikara in upasana this is not in the context it is kind of tangential to that context so prasangikatvat na avyavahitena asya sangatya peksha there is no expectancy of continuation sangati with connection with the apashudra adhikarana so where is the connection of the kampana adhikarana that follows purvam shabda deva pramitaha ityatra brahma vakye jeevanuvadaha brahma jnana ai tyuktam earlier what was stated for brahma jnana there is anuvada of jeeva the jeeva has qualification in upasana or jnana so vidya whether brahma vidya is 
उपासना और ब्रह्म विद्या इज ज्ञान ऐक्य ज्ञान सो देर इन दी ब्रह्म शब्दादेव प्रमित सो देर इन दैट सूत्र दी जीवा वॉज स्टेटेड जीवा इज वेरी वेल नोन वॉज स्टेटेड एंड देन दी उपनिषद रिवील दिस वेल नोन जीवा एज ब्रह्म विच इज नॉट वेल नोन सो ब्रह्म ज्ञान आए इत ऑल दैट एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ जीवा एज एन इंडिविजुअल बाय दी शास्त्र इज एन अनुवाद दिस जीवत्व भाव is not idam itham it is not exactly the way one knows prasiddha that individuality that limited samsarana is not the jeeva's nature jeeva by swarupa is brahma so prasiddha limited existence is accepted by the shastra as an anuvada because it is already experiential to the human beings to every jeev to every being rather but this is not a fact the fact is revealed by the shastra as to aikya with brahma is swarupa now na tatha ih yadidam iti vakye pranaanuvadah yuktah now this prana also as well known as well known as what vayu vikara prana is vayu vikara vayu or vayu vikara so when the kathopanishad talks about yadidam yadidam kincha so yadidam kincha jagat sarvam prana ejati nisrutam when kathopanishad makes such statements there na tatha like earlier jeeva anuvada is was there prana anuvada is not being done there तस्य तस्वूपतः कल ब्रह्मक्य अयोगा प्रत्युदारण संगत्या इदम सो दर इज प्रति दर इज अ कौंटर एक्सापल प्रत्युदारण संगति इज अ कौंटर एक्सापल कौंटर टू वॉट इट इज अनलाइक दि अर्लियर दि अर्लियर जीव जीव इन द ब्रह्मवाक्य जीव अनुवाद वॉज देर हियर इन कठवल्ली देर इज नो प्राण अनुवाद वाय इन In the earlier case, Jiva Brahma Ikya is possible, but here Prana Brahma Ikya is not possible. So, tasya swarupa taha kalpi tasya. So, one that is by swarupa, by swarupa, if you look at it, swarupa taha kalpi tasya Brahma Ikya ayoga. There is no uh, yogyatvam. of prana to be brahma it cannot mean brahma at all why because vayu vikara it is a vayu vikara iti pratyudharana sangatya idam ah this is the counter example through which the next adikarana kampana adikarana comes up <coughs> so prana is uh, If you look at it, vayu vikara, but this prana ityadi, these are kalpita, prana apana, these vikaras. There is a kalpana done. There is a division and there is a functionary. All this is done. Now this prana is also as upasya. There is a kalpana. Prana is to be in such a manner imagined to be in this manner for particular upasana. Because prana is upasya. in the kathopanishad as per the puro pakshi so there is a kalpana to be done whereas siddhanti says no there is no upasana at all kalpana is all right but it is not upasana the shruti kathavalli is revealing aikya of jeeva with brahma by talking about prana using the word prana which really means brahma how so because you will see in the context that prana is included in yadidam idam sarvam sarvam word has been used so when you see sarvam yadidam sarvam prana is part of sarvam or not this is the question that the siddhanti asks the purva pakshi when you say sarvam sarvam means everything 
in that everything is prana included or not if prana is included then prana cannot be kampana hetu so we'll see ejati pranah ejati sarvam idam sarvam jagat pranah ejati so prana is the karta and pranah ejati idam sarvam in that prana is included so prana pranah pranam ejati is that the meaning because prana is part of jagat so when you say sarvam jagat ejati and ejati means what ejru kampane so kampana hetu one that causes the entire prapancha to move is that really that vayu does vayu make the prapancha move vayu may make some things move what you see so vayu is kampana hetu we do not uh, deny that laukika kampana hetu in fact uh, tarkika says that vayu is not pratyaksha you know by kampana in in the leaves of the tree etc so you see that the tree leaves of the tree branches of the tree even sometimes the tree also starts moving that is that is due to what whatever that is that is vayu that is how they define it so we agree that yes vayu is kampana hetu but not for everything so prana is not kampana hetu for everything definitely not prana itself and in sarvam prana is included therefore this prana karta meaning karta of the sentence prana ejati in the mantra prana ejati jagat sarvam where sarvam includes prana this prana as karta is brahma so this is the response that the siddhanti will give so kampana adhikaranam the sutra is kampanat kampanat so kampanat sarvasya sarvasya kampanat because sarva has been used so the sutra also it is kampanat kampanat is a hetu so kampana hetutva pranasya kampana hetutva that is the idea there so kampanat sarvasya kampanat and there sarvasya means savayukasya sapranasya sapranakasya sarvasya jagatah kampanat kampana hetu tvat and sarva also includes the sentient beings so sentient beings also live due to prana which prana the real prana is pranasya prana so pranasya prana is brahma therefore jivanadi chesta hetu tvat kampana is jivanadi chesta hetu tvat prana shabdam brahma so the prana shabd is not really in swartha it is in brahma meaning this is a siddhanta so atra purva pakshe prano upasti purva pakshi says prana is upasya there there is a upasana kanda in kathavalli kathopanishad siddhanti says no siddhante nirvishesha brahma jiriti phala bhedah the difference is that siddhanti says that there is no upasana at all it is jnana kanda proper and निर्विशेष ब्रह्मधि बुद्धि ऐक्या ऑफ निर्विशेष ब्रह्म इज डिस्कस देयर इज रिवील्ड कठवल्लीषु श्रूयते व्हाट इज द मंत्रा देयर यदिदम किंच यदिदम किंच जगत सर्वम प्राण एजति निसृतम सो दिस यदिदम किंच इज आल्सो देयर इन तैत्रिया सो दैट बायस इज द स्वरा सो यदिदम किंच ऑल दैट इज देयर हियर व्हिच इज ऑब्जेक्टिफाइबल एज इदम all that is what jagat and sarvam entire without any exception that what who is that is moved by prana so your prana ejati is ejati is ejru kampana therefore kampana hetu is prana nishrutam so all of that is ityadi this mantra there tatra ejru kampane iti dhato ho there this ejru kampane dhatu is there so the nisran the chesta which is done all the chesta ejati nisrutam so the srishti also if you look at it in that section the srishti sthiti and laya karana is also that prana and that prana cannot be literally the 
Srishti, Stiti and Laya Karana has to be Brahma. So the Dhatu Artha is Kampana. kampana. So Kampana Artha Katwa Dhatu Ho. Is your company iti? Kampana Artha Katwa Dhatu Ho. Sarva Jagat Kampana Hetu Pranaha Pratiyate. What is the meaning of that sentence? It is very clear that the meaning of the sentence is Prana is the one that is the cause. Cause of what? Of Kampana, of moving the entire Prapancha. Moving means in its in its entire Gati. The Samsara Gati, complete Samsara Gati, Hetu is Prana. So Shrishti Siti Laya, all are included. So Saha Kim, Saha Prana ha, Kim, Vayu Vikaraha, Uta Paramatma Iti Sandehe, when such vishaya is there, sandeha, doubt is there as to whether prana means vayu vikara which is prasiddha. The meaning is well known or it is paramatma. Vayu vikara iti purva paksha. Purva paksha says it literally it means prana apana ityadi that prana which has pancha, pancha prana, basically pancha prana which has five functional, functional differences. Siddhantastu pranasya pranam. There is a mantra pranasya pranam, pranam ityadi. So pranasya pranam, like in Keno Upanishad also, what you have here is that uh, Shrotrasya Shrotram. All that you have, Chakshusha, Chakshu. So whenever you have a Shashti with the Pratipadika, where another Supratya, the Prathama is there, that is Swarupa. So it is Swarupa here Pranasya iti Prana Shabdasya Paramatmani Prasiddhe he Iha Prana Shabda Vatya Paramatma Eva. So here this Prana Shabda Vatya Prana Shabda Vatya means one that is the Vatyartha of Prana Shabda is what Paramatma. We have seen elsewhere also Prana Shabda has been used in the sense of Brahma. Just like Jyotish Shabda also which will come up next. Kutaha, what is the Hetu here? Kampanath. And Kampanam is Sarvasya Savayukasya Jagataha Jevanadi Cheshta Hai Tutvat which is what I read in the Vritti also. Explain the Vritti. Uh, explain the Sutra also. So Savayukasya. Vayuna Saha Savayuka. Tasya Savayukasya. And Vayu here is Prana. So Sapranasya Sarvasya Jagataha. The entire Jagat of that entire Jagat which includes Vayu Vikara Artha of Prana, that Prana is also included in Jagat. Of that Jagat which includes that Prana, all the Pancha Pranas, this Prana, Mukhya Prana, which is what? Mukhya Prana is Brahma. Brahmarthaka Prana. The Prana, Prana Shabda which has Brahma as its meaning. That Prana is Kampana Hetu. Tad Hetu Tvam Chand, what is this Hetu? What is this Hetu due to? How, how is it known? Tad hetu tvancha na pranena na apanena. So that ejana is not possible through prana or apana. Nothing other than Brahma Paramatma can deal with this world in its totality. From Shristi to Pralaya through and through, who can deal with it? What is it due to? Not due to prana, not due to apana. So, na pranina, na apanina is also there in the same Kathopanishad. Ityadi Shruti Prasiddham. It is very well known in the Shruti. So, don't take a single mantra out of context, says the Siddhanti to the Purva Pakshi. Uh, I just recalled something I wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to, I'll just go back uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, Kampana Adhikaranam is over. And so these are all single Sutra Adhikaranas which will end soon. I'll just take a uh, step back. I wanted to mention this Arthavada. Uh, what was seen in uh, the earlier Adhikarana. See Jyotishi Bhavacha. See Madhvadishu Asambhavad Anadhikaran Jaiminihi and Jyotishi Bhavacha. These two are Puropaksha Sutras. And what was the meaning given there? Vrittikara said that this Jyotishi Bhava that the Purva Pakshi is saying the Aditya Surya Devata is there in, in Jyotish, means Jyotir Mandale Bhavat and Achetana Tvacha. Achetana Tvacha. This Achetana Surya is seen 
एज सूर्य गोलका इन अंतरिक्ष इन आकाश एंड यू डोंट सी एनी अदर अचेतन शरीर विग्रह विथ प्रत्यक्षादि प्रमाण एल्सवेर सो इट इज दिस वेरी सूर्य दैट यू सी इन दकाश इज दि शरीर एंड दैट शरीर के नॉट डू एनीथिंग देर फोर दिस विद्या अधिकार ऑफ देवता दैट यू टॉक अबाउट दैट इज नॉट देर then if the siddhanti were to ask the puro pakshi then what about the shruti as pramana which talks about vigras there jaimini adi puro mimamsaka will will say that it is all arthavada now this arthavada also why is it not arthavada so i wanted to discuss that point as to why it is not arthavada you have to explain how is it arthavada what is the reason that you are considering this as arthavada because there is um, There are three types of arthavadas. Virodhe gunavada has syad. Anuvado avadhari te bhutarthavada stadhana arthavada strida mataha. There are three fold arthavadas. One is gunavada. So guna. So what has been said here is uh, mantra naam anya paratve. This anya paratve is what? Something else. You have to. टेक दी मीनिंग नॉट ए स्वार्थ बिकॉज स्वार्थे प्राण्य अभाव इज देर से पूर्व पक्षी सो मंत्रण अन्य परत्व इज अर्थवाद परत्व दिस अर्थवाद यू हेव टू एक्सप्लेन नाउ से सिद्धांत इज पूर्व पक्षी इफ इट इज अर्थवाद इट इज नॉट स्वार्थ वॉट इज युअर ऑब्जेक्शन टू आदित्यादि और इंद्रादि देवता हेविंग विग्रह हेविंग शरीर वॉट इज युअर ऑब्जेक्शन वेर बाय यू विल टेक इट एज अर्थवाद so arthavada is of two three types so which of the types will you talk about this arthavada as this is a question that siddhanti asked the purva pakshi purva mimamsaka jaimini ityadi so virodhe gunavada if at all this vigraha vigraha that you know of and the vigraha that the shruti talks about there is a contradiction then you take it as gunavada there is some arthavada by guna by guna means there is some praise some guna is taken and that guna is discussed for example that gunavada is what it is stuti stuti para so anya paratvam is what stuti paratvam is this vakya stuti paratvam that indra has vajra in his hand or whatever is the description of vigraha chaturbahu whatever whatever is the discussion of any vigraha of any devata is it a gunavada and therefore arthavada like aditya yupah yajmana prastarah prastarah yajmana prastarah so yajmana is darbha aditya aditya is yupa so this yupa where the uh, the pashu is tied in the yaga that shines in such a manner that it looks like aditya so that guna becomes the reason for the stuti of the yupa as aditya the yupa itself is surya it is not surya because literally yupa the yupa is what it is a, it's a uh, it's a stump it's a stump of uh, wood so that yupa cannot be aditya so literal meaning swartha meaning is not applicable there so swarthe pramanya bhavat can be the argument there and therefore there is arthavada what kind of arthavada gunavada why because virodha is there aditya cannot be wood surya cannot be wood wood cannot be surya therefore there is virodha so virodhe sati gunavada is the arthavada so there is gunavada then if you already know If you already know some kind of Aditya Adi Devatas, Indra Adi Devatas, and this Devata discussed is different, meaning you have ascertained, you know for sure that it is not. This is not uh, that. Meaning possibility is there, but you know that it is not. Meaning you know Devadatta, and someone says this Devata is the uh, the same Devadatta is discussed as someone else. There you say no, it is not that Devadatta. I know the Devadatta. So. अवधारिते सति इफ वन हैज ऑलरेडी एसर्टेन देन वॉट हैपन्स इट इज अनुवाद यू ऑलरेडी नो मीनिंग देर इज नो विरोध अर 
sorry, uh, in earlier case there is Viroda. In Viroda, you know that it is not this, then there is Viroda Gunavada. But here there is no Viroda. He is just stating, he is explaining something. So uh, let's say someone is explaining who is Devadatta to you. You listen to him. You say already know. I already know Devadatta, but uh, you are explaining. I'll listen to it. But that is not a Pramana Vakya anymore. It is not Shabda Pramana because you already know. You have seen uh, Devadatta, you have interacted with it. You already know Pratyakshataya who is Devadatta. But if someone is explaining, you agree, yeah, it is that Devadatta, but I already know. So then what is that Vakya? It is an Anuvada. Similarly, Shruti talks about something that you already know. It is not Pramana there. Not Pramana. So Swarte Pramana. Pramanya Abhava is there. That time what is the Vakya? It is Arthavada. What kind of Arthavada? It is Arthavada because Avadharana is there. Avadharite Anuvada Syat. It is an Anuvada. It is a restatement of an already known thing. So what is already known is restated. It is, it's a, it's an Anuvada. So therefore it is Arthavada. Then there is Arthavada, another kind of Arthavada, which is what? So uh, the, um, Example for Anuvada is what? Agnir Himasya Bheshajam. So Hima is cold. So for cold, what is the remedy? Remedy is Agni, Ushna. So this is something that you know through Laukika Pramana. You know that heat is the remedy to cold. You light up fire when you feel cold. It is known to you. But if the Shruti says it, the Shruti does say it. When the Shruti says it, that Agnir Himasya Bheshajam is what? Is an Anuvada because you already know. Now, what about these statements like Vajrahastha Purandaraha? Is there, so there, Taddhanad, Arthavadaha is what? Bhutarthavadaha. Taddhanad, Bhutarthavadaha. If at all Indra is described, Purandara is not Vajrahastaha. Vajraha haste yasya. Saha Purandaraha, yasya Purandarasya, Saha Purandaraha, Vajrahasta Purandaraha. That Vajraha Purandara is Vajrahasta. If the Shruti talks about Purandara or Indra as being Vajrahasta, he has Vajra in his hand. What is your problem there? Ask the Siddhanti. Do you agree that that Indra is Vajrasta or not? If you do not, then what kind of Arthavada is it? Is, is there a Viroda? Do you know Indras who does not carry a Vajra? That is not a fact. Therefore, there is no Gunavada. So there is no Viroda. It is not Gunavada Arthavada. Is it an Arthavada of Anuvada, do you already know that he carries uh, Vajra? No, you don't. Therefore, it is not re-assertainment also, it is not a restatement also. So, it is not Anuvada kind of Arthavada. So, this Anya Paratvam, what kind of Arthavada, if at all you say that it is Arthavada, then what Arthavada will it be? It will be Bhutarthavada. It is a statement of fact. So, Swarthe, literally it is not so if you say, Meaning, in Swartha meaning there is no Pramanya, but in Arthavada also there is Bhuta Arthavada. It is a statement of fact. Why so? Because Pramana Viroda is not there and Anya Pramana is not there. You cannot know whether or not he has Vajra in his hand. You do not know that he has, there is no such entity. There is no such Vigraha, you do not know. Therefore, this Viroda and Anuvada are not possible. Therefore, Parisheshya, the Arthavada will be of the third type, which is Bhuta Arthavada. So, if at all, the Siddhanti agrees that Swartha, in Swartha there is no Pramana, we say there is Shruti, which is Pramana. If you don't take it as Pramana in Swartha, then as Arthavada, it will be Bhuta Arthavada, which will finally mean Swartha only. You have to accept that a fact. As it is, you have to accept that Indra is Vajrahastha. So this is what I wanted to mention because Arthavada is good to know of what type. And here Arthavada, if you take Anya Paratum, that will be uh, Bhuta Arthavada. <coughs> so anyway, that is the um, 
अर्थवादा इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ दी अर्लियर अधिकरण देवता अधिकरण सो नेक्स्ट सूत्र कंटिन्यूंग देर इज इन अ डिफरेंट अधिकरण ज्योतिर अधिकरण सो दिस ज्योति हेज बीन डिस्कस इट इज वेरी इजी टू लुक एट रीजनिंग हियर सो वी कैन स्पीड थ्रू पूर्व सर्वशब्द श्रुति संकोचानुपत् प्रकरण प्राणशब्द ब्रह्म सो प्राणशब्द हियर इज बहुरी बिकॉज शब्द इज इट्स ए गिव अवे दट शब्द द उत्तर पद इज पुलिंग इट के नॉट टेक नपुंसक लिंग इन प्रथम मीन नपुंसक लिंग कैंड ऑफ अ फॉर्म सो शब्द कैन बी द्वितीय इन पुलिंग ऑलसो बट हियर इट इज प्रथम सो प्राणशब्द ब्रह्म उत्त सो प्राणशब्द ब्रह्म भवती ब्रह्म अस्थि उत्त दट शब्द इज प्रथम प्राणशब्द इज प्रथम एंड शब्द उत्तर पद के नॉट बी पुलिंग के नॉट बी नपुंसकिंग बींग निपुलिंग शब्द फॉर्म इज अ गिव अवे दट इट इज बहुरी सो दिस इज जस्ट अ वे टू वन ऑफ दि वेज टू ईजीली गेस दट इट इज बहुरी सो प्राण प्राण शब्द यो प्राण शब्द यार प्राण शब्द य यस्य ब्रह्मण यस्य कस्य ब्रह्मण यस्य ब्रह्मण तद ब्रह्म प्राणशब्द सो प्राणशब्द एज अस विल बिकम नपुंसकिंग बिकॉज ब्रह्म अन्य पद इज नपुंसकिंग सो पूर्व सर्वशब्द श्रुति संकोचानुपत् दिस सर्वशब्द वॉज यूज पूर्व इन मीन वॉट इन दिस कठोपनिषद मंत्र सर्व प्राण एजती सो जगत सर्व यदिद किंच इद सर्व जगत प्राण एजती देर सर्व वर्ड इज देर इज श्रुति सर्वशब्द श्रुति सर्वशब्द इज श्रुति देर इन दि कठवल्ली सो ड्यू टू दैट वॉट यू हेव टू टेक प्राण ऑलसो पार्ट ऑफ सर्व एंड प्राण हेज टू बी री इंटरप्रिटेड एज कर्ता ऑफ दि सेंटेन्स पूर्व सर्वशब्द श्रुति संकोच अनुपत्य यू हेव इज यूज वॉट देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्राण बीइंग literally prana you have to reinterpret the word prana it is not the prasiddha prana and therefore what prakaranat prana shabdam brahma ityuktam you interpreted the prana shabda to mean brahma na tatha ih similarly you cannot talk about uh, in chandogya upanishad you cannot apply similar logic there na tatha ih samprasada vakye the samprasada vakye also we have seen as quoted in another context of upasana so here in the jnana kanda there is analysis being done na tatha ya samprasada vakye prakarana anugrahakam kinchid asti this samprasada we have seen samprasada shushupti in that state vakya chandogya vakya prakarana anugrahakam kinchid nasti there is nothing to help you out there says the puro pakshi to help you out in the sense what to help you interpret the jyoti shabda as something else there is nothing there in there is no shruti which tells you that jyoti hi like sarva includes prana there is no such shruti there is no such shabda in the vakya of chandogya samprasada vakya in prajapati vidya in prajapati vidya there is a samprasad vakya there you do not have any such shruti to help you out literal word isn't there which will help you out to interpret jyoti as brahma jyoti shabda as brahma yena prakarana jyoti shabditam brahma so here he has used shabditam earlier there was shabda so shabditam is very clear that meant by the word shabditam is meant by the word what is that jyoti meant by the word jyoti so jyoti shabditam brahma syad yena so yena karanena prakarana in the, due to prakarana you can say jyoti shabditam is brahma yena karana syad tat karanam nasti ityartha there is no karana anugrahakam karanam nasti yena anugrahakena karanena prakarana jyoti shabditam brahma bhavati syad न सैद्थ देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ ज्योतिष शब्द मीनिंग ब्रह्म बिकॉज इन दट प्रकरण यू नॉट हैव एनीथिंग टू हेल्प यू आउट अनुग्रह का इज नॉट देर 
Prakarna Nugraka is not there. Therefore, what you have to take Jyoti as Prasiddha Jyoti, says the Puropakshi. It is Pratyudharana Sangathya, the Mahas. This is a counter example to the earlier way out of Siddhanti. This is a counter to it. Thereby, Jyoti Radhi Karanam has come up. Jyoti Darshanat. Jyoti Darshanat. So, Jyoti Hi Darshanat. Very simple sutra because we have seen the word Jyoti interpreted due to same reason apahata atma apahata papma has been used and jyotish shabda is in samanadi karana with that so apahata papma all this is will not apply to jyoti so you have to look at other mantras also other vakyas in the upanishad of the same section to make sense of the of the word tatparya should be known before you have proper shabda bodha says the siddhanti so jyoti is what the sutra artha is jyoti is Brahma. Why? Tatha Darshana. In Shruti you see such such statements as to Jyoti Shabda has to mean Brahma. So Jyoti hi Brahma eva, Parabrahma eva. Why? Yaha, yaha, ya atma apahata papma iti darshana. Iti darshana means iti shruti. There is a Shruti which says that this Jyoti is what? Yaha, atma apahata papma. That itself is Jyoti. So, Atra Pura Pakshe Aditya Upasthya Krama Mukti Hi. The Pura Pakshe says Jyoti Hi is not Brahma, is not Atma, it is not Atma Jyoti. What is it? That Jyoti Hi is Surya, Aditya. And this Jyoti Hi being Upasya, Surya is Upasya really. So, Aditya is Upasya. And through that Upasana, Upasthi means Upasana, through the Upasthi, through the Upasana, Krama Mukti, whose Upasana, Aditya Upasana, meaning Jyoti Upasana is, uh, Jyoti Upasana is Aditya Upasana. Siddhanti says that it is Shuddha Brahma Jnana, there is nothing like Upasana there at all. Siddhante Brahma Jnana Mukti Hiti Phala Veda. Pura Pakshi says yes it will lead to Mukti but Krama Mukti. One will go to Brahma Loka, Aditya Loka, Brahma Loka and then one will get Krama Mukti but Siddhanti says no. The mukti can be here and now. We don't deny that there can be krama mukti, but we say that it can give you brahma jnana here and now and there can be jivan mukti here itself. If at all one is not able to get jivan mukti, then yes, there will be krama mukti. But mukhya artha is for jivan mukti here. So brahma jnana mukti hi iti phala bhedaha. Chandogya Prajapati Vidyayam Shruyate. In Prajapati Vidya of Chandogya Upanishad, what is heard is this mantra. Yesha Samprasadu Asma Charira Samuthaya Param Jyoti Rupa Sampadya Ityadi. You have seen this mantra earlier. So I am not describing this. But Yaha Yesha Samprasada. In the Shushupti Avastha, one who has entered and then Asma Charira Samuthaya. Goes away from this Sharira. In that Shushupti Avastha. Param Jyoti Rupa Sampadhyaya. There he merges with this Param Jyoti which is what? Param Brahma really. No, then the Aditya Upasana should be done recalling all that in the waking state says the Puro Pakshi. That is not true. Siddhanti says that it is Brahma Jnana. Whatever is your Shushupti Avastha, Ananda Swarupa that you know on waking up, Pratyakshataya you recall. You know that you have had Ananda Anubhava in Shushupti, that Ananda is your own Swarupa. And that which lit up the Swapna and is lighting up this waking is also the same entity that you were without the additional noise in Shushupti Avastha, that is your Swarupa. Bearing the Avidya which veiled it, you couldn't have known then because there was a veiling. But you can remove that veiling by inquiring into the Swarupa in Shushupti on waking up. So this is the Jnana there, Tatrakim Jyotish Shabditam Aditya Adi Tejaha. Whether it is Aditya or Agni, whatever Jyoti. Because Jyoti Shabda can mean Tejas which is the luster of the sun of fire of anything. Uta Brahma or Jyoti hi means Brahma Jyoti, meaning Brahma Eva Jyoti, Brahma Jyoti Karma Dharaya there. Meaning Jyoti means Brahma. Iti Vishaye, iti Samshaye. When such a doubt is there, Aditya Aditya Jahiti, Pura Paksha, Pura Pakshi says it is 
आदित्य तेजा और अग्नि तेजा दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ज्योति सिद्धांत अस्तु ज्योति रत्र पर ब्रह्म एव सिद्धांत सेस ज्योति मींस पर ब्रह्म वाय कुतः दर्शनात बिकॉज श्रुति इज देयर व्हाट इज श्रुति ये आत्मा अपत पापमा दिस उपक्रम वाक्य व्हिच हैज गॉन बाय इन द सेक्शन यू हैव डिस्कार्डेड दैट यू आर नॉट डूइंग तात्पर्य निश्चय विथ षडलिंगा से सिद्धांति यू हैव टू डू दैट देर इज अ उपक्रम आलोचना टू बी डन इफ यू डू आलोचना इफ यू इंक्वायर इन टू उपक्रम एंड दूप संहार विच मेक्स अ सिंगल लिंगा ऑफ दि षडलिंगा ऑफ दि सिक्स लिंगा टू लैंड ऑन तात्पर्य यू सी दैट ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट इज वॉट या आत्मा अपहत पापमा देन दिस ज्योति ही इज डिस्कस यसाद अस्मा शरीर समुत्थय परम ज्योति रूप संपद्य वन हू अटेन्स दिस परम ज्योति ही इन दैट सुषुप्ति अवस्था संप्रसाद इज वन हू इज अटेन्ड दैट अवस्था सुषुप्ति अवस्था सो दैट संप्रसाद इज परम ज्योति विच इज ब्रह्म विच इज आत्मा विच इज अपहत पापमा अपहत पापमा मीन्स पाप फ्रॉम हूम ऑल दी पापाज आर अपहत हैव गॉन अवे ऑल पापाज गॉन अवे मीन्स दे आर नॉट देर it is not that they were there and gone away they have gone away by perspective of the earlier state of the gnani which was that state agnani state if at all you consider a gnani being agnani earlier in that agnana he was associated with the sharira shari which sharira the sukshma sharira stula sharira and whatever karma was being done through this stula sharira he considered it as his own karma something to be done so he was a karta bhokta and being a karta bhokta the papas and punyas accumulated in the sanskara roopa also in the antakarana bija roopa also which is there all of this as a set it is there since anadi kala that is fructifying and keeping him in samsara so he was considering oneself atma as what papi pun one who has done punya and papas but punyas are not going to bother a person a laukika person only an adhyatmika person should be worried about punya because punya is also papavat it will also bind but that is at a later stage but at a stage where a person is not even a sadaka he wants more and more punya he does not bother but papa he wants to avoid but he considers himself as a papi because of this janma but atma by swarupa is what he is himself what apata papma where papas are not there so when he has this gnana that i am due to ajnana associating myself with the sharira with atmatva bhava ahankara mamatva ahantva mamatva mamatva so that ahankara following which there is mamata ahanta following which there is mamata that is all due to ajnana when one discards this association cognitively then one knows oneself as that atma which is apata papa where papas have gone away with the earlier cognitive association they were there by cognitive dissociation through jnana they are not there even a yogi does the same thing he discards the association with sharira through the chitta vritti nirodha so then he has the shuddha atma anubhava what is that anubhava anubhava is jnana smriti bhinnam jnana anubhava it is not a smriti he is not recollecting his swarupa he is saying that i am atma i know i am atma how does he know he says it anubhava siddha samadhi siddha Which atma, which is papa raita. So Shruti says, Darshana is there. Ya at, ya atma apahata papa iti upakrama alochana ya Brahmana eva pratipadjata ya anuvritti darshana di charta ha. The same Brahma which is meant by the word atma in the upakrama, there is an anu anuvritti. The same atma Brahma atma has anuvritti here in this yesh samprasad asmaitya jyoti hi. इन सामनाधिकरण दिस ज्योति ही इज नपुंसकलिंग ऑल्सो शुड हैव मेंट ब्रह्मा एनीवे बट देर इज अ वर्ड आत्मा यूज दैट आत्मा इज वॉट ब्रह्मात्मा 
So even in Pullinga, it will mean Brahma itself. Because Apahata Bhapma, Atma cannot be Jeevatma, Jeev because Jeevatma is one with association with the Sharira, cannot be Apahata Bhapma. So this Atma, which is Apahata Bhapma, is Brahmatma, which is Brahma, which is in Samanadi Kran with Jyotihi in this Vakya. Therefore, Brahmana Eva Pratipadya Taya Anurti Darshanad. This Darshanad is Anurti Darshanad. There is a Brahma Atma Aikya which is discussed in the in the opening statement itself, Upakrama, that is continuing here and it will continue till Upasamhara also of the Chandogya section and that is the Tatpare Vishaya through and through. Now this being so, this Jyotir, the uh, Jyotiradi Karanam is also over. Now this Arthantaratvadi Vyapadeshadi Karanam comes up. Uh, there are only few sutras. We will look at it in the next part. Huh? But Purapakshi says that just like you have interpreted here with the Upakrama, now how you reinterpreted the word Jyotihi, you have to reinterpret the word Brahma also. So this Brahma the Shabda also should be reinterpreted based on the Upakrama elsewhere. So this Arthantaratva, different meanings for different words, that is the Adhikarana in the uh, in the next Adhikarana, that is the Adhikarana where the words having different meaning is looked into. Whether that Brahma Shabda should be reinterpreted or other Shabda should be reinterpreted as Brahma, that we will see in the Adhikarana says, Siddhanti says, your objection is okay, it is valid, but we will show you which word should be reinterpreted in what meaning based on whatever mantras you pick. So you look at it, we'll give Udharana, we'll look at this sampling, says this Siddhanti, and thereby the Arthantartvadi Vyapadeshadi Karanam comes up. Amnayantik Samsiddham Adhimadhyanta Varjitam Anandakaram Apurna Mahatma Jyoti Rupasmi Tatsat Namaste.